What's up, guys? Welcome to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex. And we have Jeremiah with us today here. Woo! Everyone is so excited for you to come on. We had so many people message us being like, he has to come on right away. And I was like, we, we'll get him. We'll get him. Fan favorite. Yeah. Oh, oh OK. Hey, y'all fooling <laughs> me like that? <laughs> so you'll die when you see it. We were huge fans. Uh, I think we said you were our favorite through the entire thing. We actually uh, both pulled you uh, yes. at, for the interview tape, like the initial before the show even started, we pulled you as our favorite. Oh, that's love right there. Yeah, that's we love. said we would have love to do. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're big fans and I know America absolutely loves you. Yeah. Did not want to see you go. I know. It was, it was sad. It was. Yeah, I was, um, I saw my boys over there crying, man, when I was about to leave. I started hearing the speech. I was like, man, y'all know, hey, with that wishy stuff, hey, it was, <laughs> it was a wrap then. It was a wrap. I, I was like, man, I, so we had Ray on our show two times and we talk about you every time and Ray is a huge fan of you as well. Oh yeah, that's my boy. He hit me up. He hit me up afterwards. He was like, "Man, they don't took the goat off the show, man." I yeah, was like, you I you have to go back and watch the episodes that we have with Ray because you'll love hearing what he says about you. Like he is hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my boy. I gotta go watch him, man. I gotta go catch up with him. He's yeah, so will. great. Yeah, he's so great. He was like, he had me crying. <laughs> <laughs> Your interview to start when you were like, I like a girl with a, a wagon. A wagon. We oh, were yeah. dying. <laughs> that is hilarious. Do you actually call it a wagon? Yeah. You'd be like, oh, oh yeah, man, she got a wagon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the new girl yet, Lauren? Yeah, I did. I did. You got a wagon. She got a wagon. <laughs> you got a wagon. <laughs> you got a wagon. <laughs> she came in there shaking stuff up. I know. I know. Wow. We, it's wild. We want your opinion on that. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, hey, listen, she, um, I think she kind of fell in Connor a little bit. Yeah, yeah uh, that's what we got. Yeah, um, the thing is with Connor, um, Mackenzie, man, like she, she pressuring him a little too hard, you know, Connor just be chilling. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Mackenzie, I feel like she blew a lot of stuff out of proportion. And, you know, say Connor be sticking his neck out, you know, and he be taking it. And I told him, man, like, you just gonna have to sit her down and be like, hey, listen, you know, if, if we're going to work, this got to happen. Because, like, she calls me, if you having that many problems within a week, like, some, come on now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Like, right off the bat, if there's already all this turmoil, you know, might not be. That's what I'm saying. So let's just jump right into the questions. Yeah. We had a lot of people like submit them for you. Um, so we'll just kind of eyeball out some of the good ones we see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first one, Frank, actually I worked with this guy. <laughs> this guy's from my office. That's, That's really hilarious. Um, if you could go back, would you have tried harder to get to know Justine on a deeper level? Um, so the thing with me and Justine, man, me and Justine are actually like super tight like yeah we could tell like just, yeah. yeah like that's 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 my girl right there but right. like with me and her it was more like a friendship level and yeah. and i think yeah. she knew that so yeah. um it really just wasn't going to go anywhere yeah. you know past that right because it was like deep friendship you guys had it just was never going to be romantic oh most definitely yeah she is currently i think besides moira my favorite islander right now Mm -hmm. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She just, real, man. Yeah. She real. I fool, I fool with Justine, man. That's, yeah. my, that's my dog right there. I can tell. She's, she's, she's a class act. I like her a lot. Um, who would you say is the strongest couple to you? Like Johnny and Silly, hands down. Really? I'm going to give it to Johnny and Silly, hands down. Yeah, they, they okay. be tough together. So I think the only thing we said on that is like from a viewer's perspective, we don't ever get to see them having like deep conversations. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know if they had that, you know, in them. But then we finally saw the hideaway episode where they came out saying like, we just talked all night about life and everything. And obviously Love Island can't really show those deep conversations. Mm -hmm. So we're wondering like if that was there. Right. So now that we know that that's there between them, it definitely makes us more of uh, yeah. a fan. fan to them. Who are y'all couples? Like who did y'all choose to... Who do y'all think is going to be the power Strongest? couple? Yeah. We thought you and Rachel. Yeah, we did <laughs> say that. Yeah. We were like, they're so genuinely interested in each other. Yeah. What happened with that? I was so confused because what we see in viewer as a viewer is like, you guys are having this great night. Apparently she comes on camera and she's like, 
he said that he's like over 90 10 or something and then you sit her down and you're like i just i don't know so what what happened mm-hmm. yeah so like okay so the thing was like i, I say maybe a, a day before or like two days before you know um i was still getting to know her you know so you can't you can't fully know a person in two days yeah so right. um so you know as i was spending more time with her, i was kind of like um I don't know. And, you know, I feel like I come with, like, a big personality. And, you know, I kind of want somebody to, to match that, you know what I'm saying, match that energy. And, um, but, she, like, I ain't taking nothing away from her. She's an amazing girl. She's right, smart, right. intelligent. But I feel like she just didn't click with me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like totally. she wasn't the fit for me. And so that was the thing. Like, they didn't show a lot of that. Yes. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I was talk- I talked to Sally, and then Sally, she was like, you know, just give it some time. And mm-hmm. so I gave it some time. And then that night, I was like, man, you know, I got to it's never a good conversation. Like, it's not easy to have. So I was like, but I still got to do it. And I right. feel like she's going to respect me for keeping it real with her. And so. And I think that's what America was. They were like, we're a hundred percent in on him because I, you were the realest person. You just kept it real no matter what. And you, you didn't play the game where you're going to, you know, pretend to get to know someone and pretend to like right. them to stay right. on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like I feel like I owe um, myself that honesty, and I owe her that honesty, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. did a great job of that, and everyone definitely noticed that, yes. which is really really nice. Half these comments aren't even questions; they're just people saying, <laughs> we "Miss him, we love him," and we're like, "Is that a question? Like, we know you all love him." <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay, so obviously, you don't think Johnny's gonna jump ship. No, I don't think Johnny's going to jump ship. I feel like him and Sally are, like, too compatible with each other right now. Like, you know, they click. They just click click good, you know. I feel like somebody going to come, like, scoop them away. Like, she got to be, like, the perfect girl, like, for him. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. she got to come through. She got to be tough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't feel like right now it's anybody that's going to take him away from Sally right now. Right. I, I just want to say that I think the thing that probably kept America from falling – for them immediately in the start. I don't know if you've seen it yet because you've only been off for a few days, but all of this stuff came out like about yeah, Johnny. That's and what I was gonna say. It, we don't know if it's true or not, but like. I saw that. It's, I saw that. And um, I don't think it's true. Uh, cause yeah, right. I think we don't she either. came out. Yeah, she came out and uh, she even said like that wasn't true. So. Right. Um, yeah, because we yeah, just it was- bringing her on to talk to her about it. And then once we had kind of seen, looked more into it, we were like, no yeah 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 they i was like dang y'all trying to do my boy Jenna like that i know i know, uh, I know. It really <laughs> it, she really stirred everything she up. did she did she made an impact for the first week because we were like oh is my it, god is this guy full of shit yeah it like, changed the way we saw him for a little bit we were like that's so not fair <laughs> <laughs> that's all it takes it take one thing boy it does cool. it does <laughs> someone goes do you like latinas <laughs> Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know how many girls are asking you out right oh now in this? So um, oh, I just saw a good one. How many girls have slid into your DMs since you've been off? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm from, hey. <laughs> my DMs have been jumping lately. Eh? Including <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, he's hey. with us. <laughs> as soon as I got it back, I was like, bro, like, this too many to read. Like, <laughs> Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. I we love, love that for you. I love that for you. Oh, Someone, um, Ava said, out of the season one girls, who would you have coupled up with? Oh. We're like, question. if you don't say us, we're going to be pretty offended. <laughs> no, no, no. Of course okay. it was going to be y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been either one. Yeah, like, for real, though. Because um, I, I did, like, I vibe with y'all, like, personality. Like, y'all was just chilling, but y'all mm-hmm. had personality to go with it. And that's, that's, one, that's one of my biggest things. I'm really big on personality. So. That would have definitely been like it for me. So it would have been out of you know which one had like the best personality and who which one I click with the most. Uh huh. I'm like yeah. so me cool. Um, we're gonna. <laughs> 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 um, who was your closest friend in the house? Mm-hmm. Man, I'm a, I'm gonna have to give it to Johnny and Carrington. Those were my boys, right there. Really? Hey, Carrington gave me his braces. Oh, he did! Oh my God, that yeah. we saw that what? on his wrist. 
we have not been huge fans of Carrington based on how they portray him on TV. What? And we keep saying, we no, we keep saying we want to like Carrington. We feel like something is there and we want to like him. But he just keeps putting his foot in his mouth and they keep pulling every wrong thing he says. And that's the <clears> only <throat> thing they show of him. So it's very hard for us to like him because of things that come out of his mouth. But like we don't yeah, I kind of I kind of had a feeling he was going to get portrayed mm. like that, you know what I'm saying? But, like, he a good dude. He really a good dude. Okay, like, yeah. That's what we were hoping to hear. Yeah, he a good dude, and he mean well. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, that's my, hey, that's my boy yeah. right there. They make him look like a total douchebag. Yeah. Cool. They, they do. They, they do. I was, I was like, oh, oh. no, not my boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, my that's boy. good to hear, because, like, we heard other things, so right. it's good to hear a balance of it. Um. The fact that he gave you his bracelet, that's adorable. That is really cute. That's Yeah, because I saw him, you know, uh, when I was giving the speech, he was over there crying. I'm like, bro, yeah. chill, no, bro. Bitch. I'm like, chill. <laughs> and then we got to the room. We got to the room or whatever. And he was like, hey, man, he took it off. He said, bro, he was like, remember me. I said, oh, bro, I said, God. <laughs> I said, don't I worry about it. I, said, I know. Oh, my God, that's adorable. I'm pissed I, like, they didn't show that. that. I know. What the heck? Yeah, it, it it was emotional. I was like, bro, don't worry about it. I was like, I'm gonna give it back to you when I see you on the outside. Oh, so. I love that. <laughs> love that. Um, so what was your favorite memory overall from being there? Mm -hmm. Favorite memory? Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Oh, it's a lot of memories. Um, <laughs> it is. Uh, God, dog. Cause like we did so we did so much and like. Right. The thing the thing was. I don't know if I can pick just like a favorite memory because like we was cutting up like the whole time and uh the thing was I didn't really expect to come in there and I I formed like a brotherhood with mm -hmm. those guys man you know what I'm saying because like you come in a space like that you know it's competition mm -hmm. and, yeah but the thing the thing was we kept it so honest with each other like if somebody was coupled up we like hey bro like listen I'm gonna go talk to it whether he said he was cool with it or not I'm gonna still do it it's just like respect you know what I'm saying totally. just out of respect that's but hilarious we, we, because yeah, we, had we saw because we saw Trey go pull um what's her name Lauren and he came up to Johnny he was like yo bro like uh can I have a chat and Johnny was like are you <laughs> kidding me like but it was all jokes it was so funny that was funny it was I just like good banter I like the friendships yeah we're into the friendships we're not completely sold on the couples yeah we, we're yeah. all <laughs> <on> the island <laughs> wait I want to know some of your highlights though like snap memories of like favorite things while you were there though like i know you said you liked all of it but i I want some like good fun memories looking back it doesn't have to be um, let me see i know i did have fun so like we had like challenges with the uh i don't know did they show the challenges we had like with the volleyball and stuff no no that's what i was gonna ask what? The did challenges yeah. that we didn't see what they didn't show I it, it. Oh my God! So like we had like a, a a volleyball competition, like uh as one of the challenges over there, and like a, uh, a game. Yeah, so we had to play against like uh the cup. We couldn't have our couple on our team, so like the couples couldn't be together on the team. So okay. it was like the battle of like the couples and stuff. Oh, oh and, that's like, so fun! Oh my no, God! I can't believe they show that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh my God! God. I want to play volleyball. Why didn't we get a challenge like that? I had a feeling, yeah, uh, I think there's too much drama. They can't fit it all in. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about. <laughs> yeah, but like the challenges, the challenges were, um, those are like my favorite. Oh, like the, yeah. the challenges we did have, they were, they, were, they were my favorite. And um, it was dope, man. Like that was, that was just a dope experience. And so like the whole thing with the challenges from the, um, they, they it's a lot of joking moments and stuff we didn't show, like from cooking, like in the kitchen and stuff. So it was yeah. like a little family, man. Uh, it was yeah. dope. Yeah, we had a lot of that too looking back we're like where was this like yeah Alex and i played so many pool games like we'd play chicken and you know chicken we played chicken too we, we played, played chicken, chicken. <laughs> yeah did you guys do and like we played like, ninja oh yeah okay did yeah. you play like um sharks and minnows or categories or like any of those other pool games i think we just played like chicken and <laughs> Yeah, just like chicken and like the little I mean, volleyball. I don't want to play weird pool games, but <laughs> 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 they were playing this. We did like the cannonball competition, the dive competition, like scoring mm. everyone. <laughs> but see, they won't let us like we couldn't like jump into the pool. We couldn't we couldn't do like diving competition. Oh, we couldn't do pool. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, we weren't supposed to be doing that. <laughs> they let us do that. It, it was the pool. No jumping in the pool? Yeah. Because if you slip and fall, they're uh, liable. That was after we broke a brick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Justin broke one of the tile bricks, and then they were like, no more jumping and diving into the pool and being crazy. Uh, so he ruined it for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had swim races, too. I raced casual. <laughs> you know, I had, to, I had to find out how to swim. Like, uh, Johnny had to teach me how to swim. I didn't know how to swim. Are what? you serious? And he taught you? No, listen, you? give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. <laughs> I can, I can swim, but if, if it's somebody like coming after me, it's a wrap. I'm just gonna have to turn around and fight because uh, <laughs> I, can, I can't get away. They're just gonna be looking at me like, like really, bro? Oh I couldn't God. swim. I couldn't oh swim. God. That's God. honestly me too. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> she was like on the swim team, so. It did swim. Oh yeah, that's how Johnny was. Like he was moving. He was like little, little fish in the water. That's how Cashel was. Yeah. Was so fast. He would be lifting yeah. weights in the water, diving down and grabbing <laughs> weights. It was wild. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I have to know, too, um, your thoughts on Trey. Like, tell us everything about Trey. Everybody thinks Trey is the villain, man. I don't think too many people like Trey. <laughs> we, we love, love him. him. We think he's hilarious. Yeah, that's, yeah, Trey funny. He funny. Um, And he, you know, he mean well. Um, And the thing with him and Caitlin was, I knew he was more physically attracted to Caitlyn, mm -hmm. but Justine had like the better traits, you know, like the personality. She was like down to earth. She was cool. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ain't gonna lie, I was rooting for my girl Justine. Yeah. I wanted my girl Justine to stay. So like, I was talking to him. I was like, bro, like, what you feeling? And he was like, bro, he was like, I'm like physically attracted to Caitlyn, but Justine got all these qualities, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I, from the whole time we was gonna recouple up, I just knew he was gonna pick Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. But the only way the only way I knew he was gonna pick Justine, he said, "I feel like if she if I fall, she gonna catch me." And I was like, "Ah, oh, okay, oh, he's gonna so pick cute. Justine." That is really yeah, he's gonna pick Justine. But like Trey, that was my dog too. Like oh, me, him, and scary. me, him, and Johnny, and Carrington, that was yeah. like the clown crew. So, really? Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's good to know. We were dying because Ray Ray goes Trace for the streets. Like yeah, he, 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 <laughs> Ray is for the streets. He's smooth now. Hey, Trace. Yeah, smooth, yeah. Now. Okay. Smooth. His eyes when he does something, he looks straight at the camera and is like, "We'll be like." <laughs> <laughs> his facial expressions are hilarious. It He's, is incredible. We keep referring to him as reality TV gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the that joke is smooth. He's smooth now. He's smooth. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna give my two cents on Justine and Trey, what we were just saying. Do you think that he <laughs> pretended to, like, go in for it knowing that they're not on that level? Did you see the last episode? I haven't watched the last one yet. I haven't oh, watched the last okay, one yet. Oh, okay, okay. He okay. tries to kiss her again, and she's like, did you just try to kiss me? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. And then she's like, we're just friends. You should go talk to the new girl. And he's like, okay. And he, well, he acts really sad. And I was like, yeah, she's come like, on. And then she goes, do you want to go swimming right now or something? He was like, no, I don't want to go swimming with you right now. <laughs> I was like, this, this guy is full of shit. He knew she was going to say that. And then he was like, yeah, acting all sad because he doesn't want to look like the bad guy. And then he's like, all right, I, I guess I will go talk to Lauren because that's all I have now. <laughs> He very persuasive now. He very persuasive. And like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I know he, you know, he probably just coupled up with Justine, you know, as a safe move, you know. Oh, um, yeah. Totally. But they, he, he, she is cool. He was like, you know, I'm open to getting to know her and stuff, but, you know, we wouldn't have say if a new girl came in, he wasn't finna go talk to her. Cause like, right. Oh, of course. I think yeah. it was pretty evident. Yeah. 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 Um, one of the questions from Jillian was, do you feel like you were blindsided? Like, did you know you were going to be going home or no? Did you not know? I'm not going to lie. After, after I had to talk with her, um, so I don't know if they showed both of the talks. So we had two talks. Mm -hmm. And after I had um, talked with her or whatever, um, I kind of knew because like she, even from the next day, because she came in bed that, that night and I was like, you know, I didn't want it to be awkward. So I was trying to like, you know, squash anything. You know, I ain't want no bad blood between us. And uh, so, was she 100% she... friend zoned at this point? You could <laughs> yeah. say that. There's really wrong with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah so, um, yeah. but you know, we had established that we had talks. So after those two talks, 
Um, we had established that, and you know, it wasn't what she wanted to hear, but you know what I'm saying? It was something she needed to hear. And so, um, totally. I knew she she was kind of, you know, she probably was feeling some type of way. So I was trying to talk to her in bed and she was like, you know, I really don't want to talk about it. Wow. So the next morning we get up, you know, I speak to her. I tell her, I was like, you know, good morning. And, you know, she, she kind of like brushed it off. So I'm like, like, dang, like that. Uh -oh. So, uh, oh, but we had, we had a talk, we had a talk before, um, recoupling or whatever. And I was telling her, I was like, you know, um, you know, I do want to be here. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know, if you feel, you know what I'm saying, that you fit with Caleb better and you want to pursue that, I was like, you know, by all means, go for it. I was like, you know, you deserve happiness too. So, um, you know, we kind of had to talk or whatever, but I think she was kind of like salty about the whole situation. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, I'm a bummer. I know. We didn't really see much of her last episode. Yeah, we didn't see like any of her. Uh, she also looked so nervous when she gave that speech. Like she looked like she was gonna pass out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew what time I, I knew what time it was because she told me she was like, "I'm probably like, gonna pick Caleb." I was like, "Okay, okay." So I was prepared for it, but like, I wasn't ready to leave though. You know? What yeah, saying? I but thought they're gonna maybe send you on another date. Or me something. too. No one was ready for you to leave. <laughs> I was th I was hoping they was gonna throw a little twist, be like, yeah, you that's know, what we thought. I was hoping they were gonna have like the Islanders like vote or something, uh, you know, but I they know. wouldn't hear none of that. Well, it's good. At least maybe they'll bring you back at some point, because you're a fan favorite. Hey, I've been seeing a lot. They was like justice for Jeremiah. I was like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> justice for <laughs> Let's Jeremiah. Let's go. <laughs> wait. So okay. Wait. So if you were still there, would is Rachel your type? I mean, I Lauren. Like, oh my God! I keep calling the new girl Rachel. I don't you know do why. Keep doing that. Lauren, sorry. Uh, yeah, like, like she, she, she definitely got a wagon, and so, uh, <laughs> so I like, you know, I like, like a little. I feel like she come with a little spice, you know what I'm saying? And um, I like that, you know. So, but I just have to really like see what her personality is talking about, you know, just from the, from yeah. the conversation. She came across very confident, which is why we really liked her. Yeah, 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 she did. Yeah, she's very confident. Yeah. She's very confident. This is just a standard question that, like, everyone always gets, but, like, is there anything that you regret or would do differently going back? Honestly, um, I, won't, I don't regret anything. I don't regret anything because, you know, I feel like I put myself out there, you know, and that's what it was about, you know, like trial and error. You're getting to know them, and, you know, if it don't work out, hey, you know, I just let her know, you know, hey, I feel like we better as friends. So, um. Yeah, I don't regret. I don't regret how I handled it. You know, I would have did it the same way. So, but it just didn't. It just didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I mean, that's kind of how we felt too. What's your drink of choice? Oh, that is a good question. Like, like what? Like a uh, like alcohol. alcoholic <laughs> beverage. Ooh, I like like champagne, but I do. What? Yeah, I like champagne, but I like like Crown and like cranberry juice. Like that's okay. like my that's like my go-to. <laughs> You like that? I cannot drink dark liquor. What? <laughs> no way. It's game. Well, over. What? I can't. I can't drink clear. Every no, time I, I drink, drink clear. <laughs> if I drink dark liquor, it's game over. Elizabeth turns into a demon. <laughs> <laughs> so she get acting up, huh? <laughs> no, I like tequila. I'm there was a couple of other in here I saw. Um, so basically, the Connor and Mackenzie situation. Are you like aware with up to date with like what's going on with that? So he went on a date, right? I saw like preview. He went on a date. Yeah, we saw a sneak preview of the date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know Mackenzie cut up. I know she cut up because she was cutting up. Like even we had like Vegas night. What is cut up? And uh, like upset. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Up. She doesn't know what that's cut up is. Sorry. That's that, that's that Mississippi talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, she uh, even when we had like Vegas night there at the uh, at the villa. He, everybody knows Connor don't mean nothing. Well, those kisses don't mean nothing to Connor. Yeah. And he even kissed him on the cheek. And she yes. was like, I'm definitely not okay with it. I'm like, bro, like, relax. I know. It was so stupid. Like, Yes. Like, she was just getting mad. Oh, She would get mad over little stuff. And I was like, Connor, like, you got to tell her. She got to stop that, bro. Like, because it, it was weighing on him. And then, like, towards, I think, like, episode seven, he kind of got, like, tired of it. You could tell, like, he, he was fed up. We were going to ask you, like, does he seem, because 
the way that they're portraying him at least is that he's a pushover and that he's just like taking it from her does he realize it does he realize that she's acting this way or like, is he kind of just to escape or is he like he realized he okay so he he know um that you know he he's such a nice guy that he allows it and and i, I didn't yeah. I, I didn't like that so he came and talked to us or whatever and we was like just, just telling him bro like she thinks she can push you over like mm -hmm. that's what she's yeah. trying to do and then but he liked her so much that he was trying to change her i was like bro like listen you got to take a look in the mirror and be like because like you having all these problems like this is the first week you having problems right. she crying three times you, you know come on bro come yeah. on like i'm like you too good of a dude you know what I'm saying? Be putting up with this. And, and he realized it. So, like, he was like, he had to talk. He sat down and had to talk with her. And she tried to, like, cut him off and make him feel bad at first. But he, he sat down and he stood up for himself. I was proud of him. He did that. He stood up for himself. So, um, but I don't know. The way she going, the rate she going, I don't think they going to be together, like, too much longer. Yeah. So, I know. Because if, like, if that new girl, if that new girl on him and, and he feeling her, all right. <laughs> you think you think he he'll choose her like he's open to doing that they're not completely... yeah because because mckenzie you know she she pushing him too hard she yeah. pushing him too hard and i feel like if he vibe with that new girl like whew, she mckenzie in trouble yeah so one more thing i wanted to ask you because we saw you know as a viewer james uh in the moira situation what was that like in the villa was it oh, my. Was on TV? Was it worse? Was it not like that at all? Oh no, it was it was worse. You know, he was moving too fast. We like, bro, like just slow down a little bit. Like take it slow. Like you ain't gotta rush. And she came back. Now one thing, one thing I didn't like she did that I feel like she should have did. She came, I feel like she could she should have came to James first and told him like the deal with everything. But she right. didn't. She went, she went and got Mackenzie. They went up there for like 30 minutes and she went to talk to the girls or whatever. She came down. What was the first she didn't talk when she got back yeah like she didn't she didn't yeah she didn't talk she didn't talk to james hmm. weird because how we see it mm -hmm. is she comes right in from the date and that johnny james and trey all go corner her right away and that she doesn't even get a chance to talk to the girls first because they all went and cornered her no that's okay. how it's, that's how it's clipped as a viewer maybe she went to Mackenzie yeah. first and they cut exactly. it exactly that's what i'm it. wondering i wouldn't yeah. be shocked Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so they did. Okay, I'm wrong. That's my bad. So they did talk to her. The guys did talk to her. Carrington was trying to get, like, some air answers out of her to see what it was like. Because, like, his girl was on a date, too. Carrington was on a date. It's like, is he as big is he as he hot? Me? Is I he hot? Like, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so they were trying to get some pointers. And then, so that's when they went up there with the girl. Okay. And they went to talk or whatever. And then she came back down. And she went to, like, the beach hut. She came back. And she went in the dressing room, so she didn't. She didn't come to James at all. So I okay. was like, okay, that's where they cut okay. it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I was like, I see why he was upset about that. So yeah. she came back out. I believe she knew we was like, we was like, okay, there was some slimy stuff. But she came and pulled James. But James started everything we told James to do. He did the complete opposite. <laughs> How much did you guys get to drink? Did you guys get two glasses? Three. No, you did not. Uh, that is so unfair. unfair. Hey, you know we was get back. <laughs> oh, we had one. We had one. One. Yeah, yeah one. One. You did not have three. Ooh. That's why everyone's so been acting up. <laughs> we had three, and then they started like taking it down to two. So like, okay, okay. Yeah, so we had three, and then they started giving us two. And we did had you guys... two, and it became one yes. after like night two. Ooh, they did y'all dirty. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I was, I was livid. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys got three glasses of wine. We got three glasses. So three did you glasses. guys? They were heavy between, pours too. Yeah, they were heavy pours. Do you guys get wine and beer? Is that all you could pick from? So we got wine. Uh, so like on certain nights it'll be different. So they'll give us the option of like wine or beer, and then they give you the option of like you know just like liquor. So. <laughs> what not the hell? Hey, y'all face drop. <laughs> wow. Because I don't like wine or beer, and I would have taken the liquor option. We were not. You don't like wine? You don't like wine? No, I do. Love wine. I do. We've been drinking wine too much <laughs> lately. But, but if I'm getting one drink, I feel like, rather, I don't know. Some yeah. of those nights, I was just like, I need like a shot. <laughs> yeah. Liquor, though, the, the thing is, 
they weren't strong at all. They was like watered down. Oh, so yeah, you wouldn't want to get wine. it. I would have stuck yeah. with the wine then. They yeah. gave us a lot of Malibu rum once. So I was like, yeah, it's awesome. Like <laughs> all right, this is a good question. So because of COVID, obviously this is such a rare experience to be on it during this time. Um, mm -hmm. did, you get, how, did you guys get tested during when you were in the villa? Oh yeah, or just like, before. Or just before. So, you know, they uh, of course they had us quarantined before and then, you know, we was taking the test weekly or whatever. And then we got in there, um, they did, they did do a test. So like, you know, it'd be points where they'll stop. You have to go up and, you know, get the swab or whatever. So like, they took care of us though. Like it, yeah, it, it, yeah. it was good. Yeah. They took care of us there. So yeah, we, we did get tested. Obsessed. We're obsessed with like the production crew. They're the most amazing mm -hmm. people, right? Like all the producers, yeah, we love them. We yeah. love them. Um, so favorite and least favorite thing about the villa my favorite thing my favorite thing was i say the the food and like the pool so like because you know the refrigerator and stuff it was always stocked up so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was good but the only thing i didn't like you could not take naps you can't take oh, naps oh yeah, yeah there's no naps no napping in the sun beaming 24 7 i said oh my god you guys were sweating awesome. balls, okay? Like, yes. that looked hot. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I'm talking about, like, all day, all day, every day. In the, no, in the I sun. Would I would have hated that. It, it was rough, I ain't gonna lie. That's why we you stayed We stayed in the toys. pool. Yeah. You had pool toys. They didn't give us any toys to toys. play in the pool with. Like a football I saw. Yeah, yeah, but that's why, because it was so it was so hot. Like it was yeah, so hot. They true. had no choice. Like, like we in the pool twenty four seven. So like they they was like, okay, we're gonna give them something to work with. Right. So um yeah. I was glad because like that heat, they weren't playing no game. That heat would just Who is the most annoying person to live with in the villa? Yeah, who is the most annoying person to live with? Like who leaves their toothbrush on the counter? Who's messy? Who takes forever in the shower? Like who eats all the food? Like Yeah. That I ain't gonna lie. That boy Jay. <laughs> that boy Jay. It, like, Jay, my boy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, but I ain't gonna lie. He used to be tripping sometimes. Like, <laughs> I remember it was a point I was in there and I was uh, like washing my dishes um, from eating breakfast, and he had washed like a plate before me, and I got the plate. I looked at it. I said, "Hold on." I pulled it out. When I said it looked like he literally just like got water, ran it over it, and put it in the rack. It was it food and stuff still on it and everything. I was like, I said, uh, I said, I don't know who washed this this plate right here. I said, but y'all didn't wash this. Y'all didn't wash it. And then James he was like, huh, what, what, what is it? What is it? I was like, you know what it is. It's yours. It's yours. <laughs> I washed this plate, man. Wait, so you guys have so like, yeah. That's great. So like, you know, a lot, we didn't want everything just laying around or whatever. True. So, so uh, we used to wash our dishes sometimes whenever we get through yeah. using them. And but but most of the time they came cleaned up or whatever. Yeah, yeah that was we had like a little drawer gross. that we just threw everything. Yeah, well we were we were supposed to we were supposed to rinse it then put it in. Oh yeah, true. Okay. Um, we we all know now who didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> this is just funny. Someone goes, "Does Jeremiah want to date me?" <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people who want to date you right now. You will have no problem. This is amazing. <laughs> do you think that they portrayed you accur accurately on camera? I do. I think they did pretty good portraying me. You know, um, you know, I was just being myself. You know, being genuine. Um, you know, what I'm saying I was trying to be honest with them, just keeping it a hundred with them. And I feel like they, you know, I feel like they did a, a pretty good job. Yeah, I think we pretty much hit everything. Is um, there anything I else you want to say? Yeah. I want to like meet. I want to meet y'all in person, man. Oh my god, yeah. we are. So we, we were joking that we're gonna be your dates to the reunion, and we're gonna come. <laughs> oh, babe, what's up? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, when you guys have that eventually in LA, um, we live there, so we're yeah. gonna come mm -hmm. craft it. Oh yeah, well, what's up? <laughs> also, we were dying because. Do you know how many times you say you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, we did make fun of you for that. Hey, we hey, listen, named listen. An, We named the whole episode. <laughs> we named that. an episode. Welcome to you know what I'm saying, Island. <laughs> hey, hey. I, I said that too. I was like, bro, like I was watching it. I was like, oh my God, because like that's something I, I say a lot, and I'm trying to stop myself from saying it. 
But when I was watching it, when I was talking to Justine, I was like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because like, because like, <laughs> died at you were like, I mean, like you just, you know what I'm saying? And then you like mumble a little, and you're like, racial. <laughs> What? Yeah, like they clown me for that. They clown you're me. You're dying, but no, your accent, everything just made you so you, and I think that's what just made you so likable, so relatable. Like everyone loved you. We did uh -huh. say you need subtitles sometimes, though. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's incredible. That's exactly what we needed on this show, though. Like everyone is so different. Everyone has something hilarious yeah. about them that makes them like quirky, you know? Yeah. And we just, we loved you. Mm -hmm. We were so impressed by the way you carried yourself, how you handled every situation, the amount of times you can use, you know what I'm saying, in a sentence. Uh, <laughs> we, we really, like, we were big fans. Yeah. And we are so excited to have you on here. Cannot wait to meet you in person. Yes. We don't have six girlfriends by then. <laughs> 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 and I guess like that's yeah, kind of it so it. do you have anything else you want to add I just want to say hey man thank y'all for having me for real of thank y'all for having me you, if so, you get caught up and you want to come back on to discuss an episode you're always welcome always welcome and oh, yeah, we're, all okay. right guys so Thanks. thank you for watching, watching this video and thank you for Jeremiah for coming please hit the like button down below if you haven't yet uh, follow Jeremiah on social media. Yes. We'll link that below his Instagram and any other handles. Yeah. And then, you know, keep up with After the Island, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you for our next episode. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you.